All right, Dr. Ash is here. Uh, has questions uh, that you all are asking out there. So first one up here, if you had a recent COVID-19 infection, Dr. Ashton, can a rapid test produce a false positive? Okay, the, there's so much confusion about this testing in the setting of a recent infection. Okay. Basically, what people need to know is that if you have had COVID-19, you should not get another PCR test for a period of 90 days or three months mm -hmm. because it can pick up viral debris inactive. That does not mean you're still infected. That does not mean you're still contagious. So you should be out of the PCR testing circuit for three months after you've had COVID-19. Rapid antigen tests, different story. They are really being used now to see if someone has an active infection and if they've recently had COVID-19, if they are still infectious or contagious. We heard the CDC giving guidance on that. That's why they're saying if you can get a rapid test after five full days of isolation and it's mm -hmm. negative, you can leave your home continuing to wear masks around others. If it's still positive, you need to stay another five full days. So there can always be false positives and false negatives, but in general, that's how those tests are being used right now. It's good to always repeat that and continue to drive that point home. We know there's still questions out there, Dr. Oh, Ashton. Yeah. Thank you. Keep your questions coming to Dr. Ashton on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ash. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.